Okay, so here we're going to look at the differential equation given here. So dy dx is negative 2xy cubed plus y over 3x squared y squared plus x. So maybe the first thing that we would want to do is uh, cross multiply. So that's going to give us 3x squared y squared plus x dy dx equals negative 2xy cubed plus y. Now we'll look at this. We can see that this, uh, maybe we should solve for zero. So move this over to the other side of the equation. So this will give us 2xy cubed plus y plus 3x squared y squared plus x dy dx equals zero. And now we've got it in the form so that we can check that if it's an exact differential equation. So recall the parts of an exact differential equation. We would let this be the function a and we would let this be the function b. And we want to check if the partial of a with respect to y is equal to the partial of b with respect to x. So let's take the partial of a with respect to y. So that's going to give us 6xy squared plus 1. Good. And now let's take the partial of b with respect to x. So that's going to give us 6xy squared plus 1. So these are equal. So that means that this is an exact differential equation. Okay, good. So now let's recall the general method for solving an exact differential equation is to find some function of two variables, psi xy, such that the partial of psi with respect to x is equal to a, and the partial of psi with respect to y is equal to b. And then your solution is going to be described implicitly by the equation psi xy equals to some constant. Okay, good. So now that we know that this is an exact differential equation and we have a good path for finding an Im implicit solution, I'll clean up the board and then we will construct a solution to this differential equation. Okay, so let's recall we were working on this differential equation and we knew that it was an exact differential equation. And then previously we laid out the strategy for finding a solution. So we want some function psi of xy with the partial of psi with respect to x is equal to this first function, so 2xy cubed plus y, and the partial of psi with respect to y is the second function, so 3x squared y squared plus x. Okay, so let's see what we can do to make that happen. So we can take the antiderivative of this with respect to x. So let's see, we'll take the antiderivative of this with respect to x and let's see what we get. So that'll give us psi of xy equals, so that'll give us x squared y cubed plus xy plus g of y, so some pure function of y. So recall that with respect to x, this function, which is a pure function of y, is seen as a constant, so if we were to take the partial derivative, it would be zero, so it would not show up in this partial derivative. Okay, good, so the next thing we want to do is take the partial of this with respect to y, and compare that to what we know the partial should be with respect to y. So let's see, this yellow arrow will be the partial with respect to y. So that's going to give us d psi dy equals 3x squared y squared plus x plus g prime of y. 
Okay, good. Now, if we compare these two, we see that all of that bit cancels, and we have g prime of y equals a constant. And so that g prime, since g is only a function of y, we read that as the derivative with respect to y. Um, sorry, this equals zero, which means g itself is a constant function, which we'll call c0, which tells us that psi xy equals x squared y cubed plus xy plus some constant, which means our implicit solution is given by this function equals some other arbitrary constant. So now what we can do is subtract c0 from both sides and then rename our new c equal to the difference of these two. And so that gives us our implicit solution is given by the following equation. And that's the final answer.